OPCA is becoming one of the most important communication standards for industrial IoT. It is a platform independent service orientated communication architecture for reliable, secure and multi-vendor data transport from production level to production planning level. Um, what, um, so with this, I'd like to introduce uh, Murat from Software AG, who will demonstrate how ThinEdge.io can be used to integrate industrial assets using OPC UA to Software AG's Cumulosity IoT platform. So Murat, over to you. Thank you, Phil. Let me share my screen. Perfect. So as uh, already introduced, <laughs> my name is Murat Bayer. I'm a solution engineer uh, on the software AG side. And uh, today I'm going to show you, because it was already a question, how the Cumulosity IoT can be combined with ThinEdge. And uh, in a, a very specific topic here today, uh, how we do that with our OPC UA agent approach uh, to connect, for example, to an OPC UA server. Just a, just a few words to me. So I, before joining Software AG a couple of years ago, I was working in manufacturing. So this is why I, I mainly work in projects that are related to industrial assets, machines, uh, or, or any other th thing that has to do with, with manufacturing or, or industries. Um, and that means from, from my uh, position point of view that uh, we actually take care at the very early stage how to connect uh, connect those industrial assets to the Cumulosity IoT platform. And that means for me basically that we are checking how controllers, gateways, um, etc. can be connected to the Cumulosity IoT platform. So we have a large zoo of device partners um, we work with. So Bob is, is also here in the channel. So for example, the, the Revolution by from Kunbos, but also um, HMS gateway, so the E1 Flexi on the upper right, um, or other uh, controller manufacturers such as uh, Redline or, or Phoenix Contact or Vago. So usually my, my daily work is to see what does the customer uh, already have on the industrial on the industrial asset side or what what he needs. So because every every of this gateway usually has his its certain domain or its niche where it's uh, it's located or where it's very good at. And with this large zoo of devices, just just a short uh, just a short uh, amount here, there comes also a, a huge uh, large of different protocols. So um, like if we talk to customers, we, we we see many types of protocols and this changed over over the years. So when I when I started a couple of years ago, uh, there were other protocols much more common than than nowadays. So the TCP IP based uh, real time communications such as Ethercut from Beckhoff or, or Profibus that was, yeah, this is already a few years back when this was used uh, mainly by Siemens, but also stuff like Mudbus that is still used quite often, but or, or Mbus in, in the metering uh, segment can, we see that quite often in terms of um, uh, mobile equipment, Bucknet uh, a lot in buildings and and many others. So I could put like I don't know 200 others here on the slide, just that you get the idea. And then I don't know how many years back, then OPC started this uh, unified architecture idea um, to unify all these different protocols, and somehow it worked. So we do see that actually that customers actually use OPC UA to to make this this zoo uh, much more. Uh, unified um, and this makes it also easier for us <laughs> because uh, if OPC UA is present at this industrial asset then it's very easy for us because it's, it's somehow standardized how to write information uh, on an address space for example uh, it makes it much easier for us to connect to th this information source and this is why for example we as software AG uh, have an approach uh, that is called cloud field bus uh, so it's a server side configuration point of view where you configure basically what types of information you want to extract from, for example, OPC UA. The same concept works for, for Modbus. You see that here on the left side, we do the same idea for, for Lorio, Modbus, Can, Profibus, all the field buses. And the idea is here to provide a 
specialized component in terms of extracting information and mapping those to the Cumulosity IoT model such that I can monitor information on the Cumulosity and then do dashboarding or streaming analytics. So, but that's a very specialized solution, right? So it's extracting information from, from, an, from an address space, from, from registers or, or, or whatsoever. Um, so, but then Edge, and you already have seen a similar slide from Andre just a couple of minutes ago, ThinEdge now adds to that specialized functionality, adds something that is actually kind of commodity because you need it. So you need kind of a device management to manage those gateways I just showed on the very first slide. So to manage how they are configured, what should they do in what, what interval should they, they rescan uh, address spaces and whatsoever. And this comes with ThinEdge, right? So it's everything that is here below in the yellow part. So you can configure, you can monitor, you can manage your physical device. And then there comes the specialization, right? And we call that components. And one component in this example is what I'm going to show you today is, for example, a protocol driver for OPC UA. But the basic concept works for every protocol driver. So if you have something that is very specialized in extracting information from Profibus or from an I.O. link or whatsoever, this would be basically just a component that does its functionality within the ThinEdge framework here. And ThinEdge is taking care for the rest uh, in terms of device management and other functionalities. So, and this is what I'm going to show you today. Um, you can also see that, so it's it's nothing hidden or anything. So we we push that heavily on GitHub. So we do have an example section on on the ThinEdge uh, uh, repository, so you can look in that. So there are uh, there are examples from me, but also from my colleagues. So we're heavily putting stuff there and documenting that, so that you can can do that and use that and also like adjust it. But uh, feel free to, to dive into that. We, we, we are really looking for feedback here. Uh, if you have nice ideas, then just reach out. Would be very nice to get in some discussions here. Let's do it a little bit step by step that you see that. So I prepared a little live demonstration on that you see how our OPC UA approach together with the ThinEdge works. Um, so use the architecture slide and make it a little bit uh, thinner, right? So we, we remove everything and then you see it's basically yellow and blue, right? The yellow part is the thin edge part and the blue part is the, speci uh, the, speci uh, the specialized component. In this example, it's the OPC UA gateway agent from Software AG. So, and the first thing we start with that's a standard vintage device, right? So, I mean, we uh, in Cumulosity language, we call everything a device. Um, since Cumulosity was founded almost 12 years ago, there was not the word digital twin or anything, but basically a device is a, is a, a virtual representation of something, right? It could be physical, it could be also uh, some virtual representation of something virtual. You will see that in a minute. And let's move to the tenant, and then you can see that. So. I have a nice freshly branded Cumulosity tenant in here. Uh, and uh, what we can see here when I go on to the all device sections, I can see my parent gateway device and that's actually my physical gateway. So for example, the Kunbus Revolution Pi or the gateway from HMS. And what I can do in here uh, is what Andre already mentioned. I can see meta information about my device, right? So it's basically a digital twin, you would say it nowadays, about what version is my, my uh, ThinEdge installed here on this physical device? Where is it located? Uh, was it available in the last couple of minutes? Um, all this meta information to this particular physical device, right? And also more information to this device. Uh, Andre showed you, for example, measurements so what is my CPU doing on this gateway, uh, how is the memory used. Um, I can also do configuration, so maybe I want to push a new firewall configuration to this, uh, to this gateway, um, or I can see the services. This is what Andre already mentioned. Um, so what system D services are running, are they all up, are they down, uh, are they restarting? Or I can, for example, request log re files from this particular gateway. So who was logging into that, etc. So that's really pure plain device management. Going back to the slides, 
Now there comes the specialization, right? We want to connect to OPC UA. And we had already, or we do have a solution that is called OPC UA Gateway Agent. And that's, we model that as a child device. So it is in a physical representation, a child device within the thin edge. Um, and that's our component basically, right? That is, um, that is uh, responsible for connecting to an OPC UA server um, that is responsible for extracting data and so on. And that is for monitoring and managing the OPC UA server. So this is basically a virtual representation of the OPC UA server itself. So how does it look like in the actual tenant? We see here in the top of my actual parent gateway device, we see a top that is called child devices, right? And in this child devices, I see my gateway component in here that is called OPC UA gateway. And that's actually my special specialized component. And if I click on that, then basically the screen slightly changes. But again, I can now start seeing what is this particular component doing, right? So how many servers are connected? How many active threads I do have on this gateway? Uh, so again, it's monitoring of this particular component. I can configure that component via the device management here of the Cumulosity. Or I could even change the whole firmware of that because I say, okay, I do have a new version of this. Uh, so let's replace that, for example, with a newer version. What I can also do, and this is more, more, uh, more, uh, more special now to OPC UA, I can configure an OPC UA server I want to connect to. So we are basically using the gateway as a jump host here, right? Because I can, for example, configure an OPC UA server that is locally in the environment, and I want to connect to that, right? So in this example here in my demo, I prepared a simulation server. Um, so data is, uh, is uh, generated and simulated. And I now save this configuration of this OPC UA server. So even if with user credentials, for example, if I, if I had configured one, and then I can save that. And if I save that, then again, you see there's a child device section of this particular gateway. And this OPC UA server will be modeled as a child device. Again, so I could even configure multiple servers here, and I would have multiple child devices. And here, I can now monitor the OPC UA server directly, meaning, for example, how is the server response side of the OPC UA server? That's a quite common use case, actually, because we see many customers not monitoring the OPC UA servers, for example. So how many clients are connected to that? How long does it take to uh, informations are extracted, etc.? There's another tab in here that is called address space. And that's very nice because now on this particular virtual representation of the OPC UA server, I can see what is my information model on the OPC UA server. So for example, I can see that I do have here a thin edge factory um, and a thin edge customer that has a factory one, two, three, and that has several lines and there is a machine and there are some variables, for example, there are drives where I do get the power extracted. So, and this comes directly from the OPC UA server. So what is basically the specialized component from us is doing, it's scanning the address space of the OPC UA server and sending this here to the Cumulosity IoT platform such that I can go through that and apply a data model later on. So that would already be the next question, right? So as you might guess, the data mapper is also a child device of this particular OPC UA server. So if I want to create a data mapping based on the information in the address space, so based on node IDs or attributes in this OPC UA server, I can manage and monitor them uh, and we model that as a child device under the OPC UA server that was just created. So, and how does this look like in the uh, Cumulosity IoT platform? So we call that, and there we have to go a step back, we call that device protocols. So you would basically add a device protocol in here. Let's do that together. And then the Cumulosity IoT is asking me, okay, what type of device protocol is it? Is it CAN, is it Modbus, is it Profibus, or is it in this example, OPC UA? So I give it a day name.
Then it's asking me, of course, on, on which basis do I want to apply this uh, this mapping? And this is, of course, uh, as an example of this OPC Way server I created. Uh, let's cut out a little bit. And in here now, I can define which variables or attributes on this OPC Way server I want to extract. So in here, I do see now the data model on the particular OPC Way server that was scanned prior. I can check that. I can see, okay, I do have factory two. There's my machine. There are the drives, and I want to, for example, extract the power. And now I can define, hey, use this power actually and send a measurement to Cumulosity. So let's call that drives and the series is power, for example, and the unit is what. So I can even define now how often I want to send this data to the Cumulosity platform. So I could say, okay, make a subscription. So do that only if the uh, value changes by, for example, 20% or 10%, um, or I could just do a cycle read and let's do that because you probably want to see something. I save that. Um, let's do the all overall as well here. And then you will see that this live mapping I just created will also be modeled as a child device in the OPC UA uh, server section on the Cumulosity. So again, here's this child device. So if I click on that, then there's still the old one. I will show you the old one. And then you'll see again, my data mapping itself is just a device I can monitor and manage here. So for example, uh, oh, there it is. Sorry, misclicked. So there's a live one now as well. Um, so th that's a, I can monitor. Uh, I can monitor the mapping in here. So for example, I can see the measurements here. Um, let's switch to the last minute. So and then I can say see here that the uh, simulated power of the drive of this particular machine is now extracted and transformed to the Cumulosity IT platform uh, as measurements in here. And you can see that here in the measurement section. So if we go back to the slides, getting the overall picture. So we model basically the physical hardware, the physical gateway as a thinage device uh, to have uh, monitoring and management capabilities of the whole physical gateway. We create a child device. Uh, which is then my specialized component. In this example, it's OPC UA, it could be anything else um, that we are capable of now monitoring and managing. And then we create a data mapping. So what types of information I want to extract from this OPC UA server in this example. Uh, and this is also, again, a child device such that we have a plain hierarchy of where the informations are actually uh, located um, and how we can manage and monitor them. To make this a little bit more plain and coming back to Andre's initial slide, um, basically we use the ThinEdge as a, a as a, the standard product or, or solution as it is provided on the official GitHub repository, and we just apply our protocol driver OPC way. Um, but you could also do that with Hotbus, for example, um, or with anything else you have, and thus that's a very nice uh, possibility to extend. Uh, the thin edge with the functionalities that you already have or that you want to create without taking care of all the stuff that is here in yellow, which you actually need it if you want to go into a, a, rock solid, a rock solid solution for other customers. And with that, haven't checked the time, Phil, but I think it looks not so bad. Again, uh, here's uh, the thin edge example repository, so feel free to dive into that and give us feedback.